my guy has worn down shoe leather, walk in a concrete jungle. He's got every right to think he's seen it all before. Well, that's what I thought. Until one day I got a call to leave the city and step out where the air is fresh and the plants don't have to grow up through the cracks in the sidewalk. I found myself leaving tracks outside a house that even Snow White might have found just too cute. Anybody there? Well, peekaboo to you too. Like I said, I'd seen it all before. This scene was as familiar as Joe's diner on a Friday. The place had been turned over. But one thing bothered me. What had gone? It didn't add up. No, I figured that whatever the bad guys were after was still here. A sudden thought flashed through my mind. And then, the atmosphere changed. I was jumping at shadows. Sure, I heard something. Some kind of tune. I didn't know what I was looking for. And that's a strange thing. Because what I was looking for ended up finding me. Mirror, mirror, framed in gold. In your depths, a story hold. Who's this who made the bad guys fly? It's Goldilocks. The private eye. Presenting a winning animation from the Kellogg's Magic Mirror competition. Detective agency, you got a problem? I can solve it. You got a mystery? I can solve it. What do you got? You got a house and it's in a mess? You don't need a detective agency, Ducky. You need a cleaning agency. You don't know who did it? Okay, I'm coming over. The Three Bears house? I'll bear that in mind. the toy detective. She's the last person on earth I'd choose. <laughs> Meow, what's up, Doc? Oh, thanks for coming, Goldilocks. I'm relying on you to quack the case. The three bears went out to get some honey, and the dark stranger swept into the house. <laughs> Looks like foul play. Oh, I guess that makes me the number one suspect. <laughs> so someone breaks in and rocks the house up. Someone who's about as smooth as a square mile of sandpaper. Whoever did this must have left some clues. I even ate baby bear's porridge. Hmm, we're looking for someone with no style and even less taste. I see someone's already cased the joint. Oh, look at Baby Bear's chair. That's some rocking chair. I'll look upstairs for clues. Who's been sitting in my chair? And broken mine into little pieces. Who's, Who's been, been eating, eating my porridge? porridge? And they've eaten my all up. <laughs> no!
Now I know who sat on my chair. Now I know who tried my porridge. And ate all my porridge and broke my chair. And now she's sleeping in my bed. <laughs> ah, a clue. And it's been there all the time, staring me in the toe caps. Looks like a tough case. I can see this isn't going to be an open and shut case. There must be a catch somewhere. I have a hand says it's all tied up somehow. If I hold onto this shoe, it could give me a lead. I'm beginning to think we're getting somewhere! I should have guessed. It's Miss Bunyan's Academy and Nasty Dancy. <laughs> My plan can't fail. I have stolen shoes from nearly all the people in the world. Everybody will have such sore feet from walking about with no shoes that nobody will be able to dance anymore. Except for me. <laughs> I will be the best dancer in the world and I'll be rich and famous. Then they'll love me. So that's your plan, Miss Bunyan. Goldie, what are you doing here? How did you find me? That shoe. That was the clue that led me to you. I left a clue? You're right. You left. A left shoe. We've got a right one here. Right there. So, you're going to pump me for information? I don't have to, Miss Bunyan. I know everything. But the three bears still think it was me that wrecked their house. They don't know it was you who took their place apart looking for shoes. It's time you learned to toe the line. Come on, you've got a lot of explaining to do. Ah! I'll open the case and show you exhibit number one. Miss Bunyan! So it was you! Curses, curses! I turned this place inside out! Yes, but it was a mistake to come to this house. I know. I couldn't find a shoe anywhere. Of course not. Why? Why? Because in this house, they're always barefooted. Everybody get on your feet. You make me nervous when you're in your seat. Throw off your shoes and stand your feet. Here's looking at me.